So before we get started, I just want to preface this by saying that if you no longer have a womb or you never had one, you can still do this visualization because every woman has an energetic womb and can tap into the womb energy that resides in the feminine side of all of us. So lying down on your back and placing your hands lightly over your womb or your lower belly. Taking some slow, deep breaths and allowing the breath to fill your whole torso so that your belly rises and pushes your hands up on every inhale. See how low you can get the air to travel and expand your body until it's feeling as though you're breathing all the way down to your womb area and your genitals. Now we're going to start by placing our attention on the entrance to the yoni. This area right around the vaginal opening is called the vestibule, which is also what they call the little room or antechamber at the front of a church or place of worship where you pause and prepare to be admitted into the sacred space inside the rest of the building. So I really like this and I like to think of this area as equally reverent and a space to pause and prepare to enter the vagina. So imagine yourself either as a tiny version of you or maybe just as your pure awareness and presence, maybe as an energy version of yourself. But imagine hovering and waiting at this vestibule, the antechamber to your vaginal canal. And maybe you'd like to say a prayer or whisper some words of respect and awe and love to your yoni just inside your head. And just behold the entrance to your vagina. So then you're going to ask for permission with reverence and with patience before entering the vaginal canal. So just do this in your own way silently as you visualize yourself at this place seeking permission from your yoni to move into the vaginal opening and enter this special sacred place. Listen carefully to your yoni and make sure you feel a clear yes before you enter yourself energetically. And if you get a no, Ask what your yoni needs to feel safe to allow you in. Respect if it's simply a no for today and just stay there sending love and respect to your yoni regardless. This builds trust and builds safety. And if you get a yes, Imagine yourself moving inside the soft opening and allowing your pussy to draw you in gently and slowly. Now just spend some time in the vagina and the pelvic bowl. Recline comfortably on the hammock of muscles and tissues that make up the pelvic bowl and feel how this hammock holds you. Feel supported by this hammock of muscles and ligaments and tendons that make up your pelvic floor. Feel the aliveness and strength and sensitivity of the tissues that surround you as you lie and rest there. You're supported in here. You might ask your Yoni if it has any messages for you. 
ask how it wants to be treated from now on. Does it have anything to say about this? How can you do better by your yoni or your pussy or whatever you prefer to call it? If you allow it a chance to speak to you, what does it say? Now having a look around and feeling into whether you can sense or see or feel, whether there's shame hanging out in there or maybe traumatic energy or stagnant energy, maybe beliefs and stories about your vagina that you don't want to hold anymore. See what's there. Get your yoni to show you if there's stuff to be let go of and that isn't serving you any longer and help to release this. You could do this by sweeping, touching, kissing, or singing your way around your pelvic bowl. Imagining that everything you touch or sweep away or kiss is released and cleansed as you work your way around the space, polishing, stroking, or breathing on. (laughs) Basically do whatever feels good and helpful to you in clearing and nurturing to just swish away anything that doesn't belong there and is ready to be let go of. Maybe past grief from a lover that hurt you or heartbreak or betrayal Maybe some unconscious or stagnant residue left over from a sexual experience that didn't honour your yoni or you. Everything that comes up or is shown to you that needs releasing, sweep it away. Once you've given that entire pelvic space, your pelvic bowl, your vaginal canal, a bit of a once over, you're going to then travel upwards and back, approaching the cervix at the end of the vaginal canal, and just moving towards cervix slowly with respect and gentleness, coming to rest just before the cervix. You might not know exactly where your cervix sits, or perhaps you don't have one, but just imagining that you're pausing at the face of the cervix and sitting with it for a while to become resonant with its energy. Is it warm and welcoming? Is it hesitant and guarded? Is there fear of pain there and a mistrust because cervix hasn't been protected in the past from jackhammer boning or painful ramming up against it during sex maybe? Maybe there's been a painful or traumatic pap smear or operation that's caused cervix to be a bit nervous to let anything come near. Or maybe it's excited and eager, sensual. It's all normal and it's all okay, but just tuning into what energy or vibes you're feeling from your cervix as you sit and behold the entrance to your womb.
Maybe you give cervix a little hug by wrapping your arms around it or you press your heart against it because the cervix is the heart point for us in sexual reflexology and it's nice to connect these two points. Check in if there's anything else that cervix needs from you before allowing you in. And again, we're going to ask permission before entering and ask cervix how it would like to be approached and entered. If you get a no as before, like I said, just hang out. You can just stay here and take a lead. And if you get a yes, Slowly and carefully enter into the neck of the cervix. And again, maybe you're a tiny version of yourself, feeling really squished and hugged by the soft tissue of this canal. Or maybe you're an energetic tendril that travels through this space as a wisp of awareness or energy. Visualize it however feels good for you. And travel up through the neck of the cervix into the womb coming to just rest in this space, supported by the strong walls of the uterus. Do you know what stage of your cycle you're in, if you have a cycle? Use this information, if you have it, to visualize more clearly. Are there plump, cushy walls readying themselves for an egg to be implanted? Really plush and soft. Maybe there's bright red shedding of the tissues on the walls as you menstruate, like wallpaper sort of ripping off in in strips. It's quite visceral, isn't it? releasing this uterine lining that's built up over the last cycle. Or maybe all is still and calm because you've ceased menstruating and are in your postmenopausal phase of life and no longer have the ebbing and flowing of the womb walls but a steady, consistent state of equilibrium inside there instead of the fluctuations of cycling. And regardless of what you see in there, what state the walls of the uterus are in, what is the mood inside? What's the energy like? How do you feel when you rest in there supported by your womb? By the strength of the muscles that have the power to stretch impossibly and contract Does your womb have any messages for you? Any needs or desires that it wants to speak? This space of creation, which not only grows and nurtures life within it, but harbors creative energy that can conceive and birth new ideas and creative projects. Can you appreciate your womb for all that it does? Whether that's cycling through building up a hospitable home for a baby and shedding this before rebuilding over and over again, whether it's actually growing a person inside, whether it's holding the grief of losing a baby at any stage of pregnancy, or even just the generation and nourishment of your creative energy and inspiration and new ideas and creations.
Feel into what this space means to you. It's the birthplace of more than just children. What does your womb mean to you? And there's no right or wrong. Maybe you have a lot of fear or resentment because of painful periods or conditions like endometriosis. Maybe you have grief from lost pregnancies. Maybe you have annoyance at the inconvenience of this part of your body that you have to worry about getting pregnant or bleeding every month. Or maybe you feel gratitude and awe for this powerful place with the ability to do what it does. Maybe you feel connection and pleasure and joy. And maybe it's a combination of all of these or something all of your own unique to you and your relationship with your womb. But just contemplate this relationship and observe your feelings and observe how your womb responds to this as you lie cushioned inside it. Now do some sweeps around the inside of the uterus walls to cleanse and clear away any cobwebs, any adhesions or stuck energy or emotion that's ready to be released. Imagine you're doing a spring clean and everything you touch can allow itself to let go, purge, release. Anything it's been holding or storing And it's able to do this because you're giving it the presence and the space and the safety to let go. Take some time now to do that and to empty out anything that doesn't serve you or your womb and allow it to fall out of the cervix and release down out of the vaginal canal to disperse into the atmosphere. Maybe you're dancing around with a feather duster as you do your sweep. Now we're going to fill our wombs back up with our choice of emotions, energy, resources, whatever we feel. Maybe you bring in a strong sense of love and nurturing or kindness and compassion for your womb and its fluctuating nature and needs. Maybe you bring in the resource of support or strength. Or, for example, if you've had frustration around trying to conceive, bring in the virtue of patience and surrender and trust. Anything that you and your womb needs, draw that in and store it inside. And as you fill your womb with loving, healing, nourishing energy and intentions, imagine that you are preparing your womb for seeds of creativity or even maybe little humans to grow there in future. You're preparing the soil so that it's extra fertile and welcoming and so that you can enjoy the future harvests that come from keeping a beautiful, well-loved womb space. I'll give you a little bit of time to just till the soil and prepare your garden bed now.
Now before we withdraw, ask your womb if there's anything else it still needs or if it has any requests for you or any messages for you perhaps, just ask it to let you know. And then finally, travel up to one of the fallopian tubes and start making your way up past the little fine hairs that coat the walls of the tube and help you along your way towards the end where you can now see the ovary glowing in all of its glory. And as you think of the ovary, you find yourself inside the ovary, swimming around tuning into the energy there. Imagine that you are an idea or a seed of an idea. Imagine that while you're in there, you are finding and harvesting that thing that your womb still needs and has asked from you if there was anything. Or maybe imagine that you're something that has yet to be created or come to fruition but that beginning of the story you are pure potential your pure possibility and you're inside a tiny egg that's about to be released to possibly become something great so you're tucked inside the egg, you've gathered these resources for your womb. And all of a sudden there's movement and excitement. And you feel pressure building and the walls are pushing in on you until you burst out of the side of the ovary as a spectacular and purposeful rupture occurs to propel you and this egg with all your new juicy resources and ideas or tools into liquidy space, floating towards the end of the fallopian tube. And it was a bit of a shock, this rupture, this expulsion from the warm midst of the ovary into space. But the frond-like fingers at the end of the tube sweep towards you and the fallopian tube reaches like an arm and its fingers scoop you up and collect you and this egg to set you on your path down the tube towards the womb. As you travel down and find yourself back in the uterus, you are pregnant with possibilities with ideas, creativity, newness, and seeds to plant in your fertile, rich, nourishing soil. Plant whatever you like there in this freshly tilled soil, in the walls of your womb, and know that it's got everything it needs to grow and flourish. Seed your hopes and dreams here, plant an idea that you've had but haven't taken action to creating yet. Bury some strength and love for later. This is your garden to do with what you will. I are saying thank you and goodbye to your womb. You're padding down the earth with all the seeds safely planted and you're making your way slowly and respectfully back down to the cervix. 
out the os, the entrance to the cervix, until you're back in the vagina. Maybe you give the cervix one last little hug or kiss on its face before you travel back down, down the vaginal canal to emerge from the vaginal opening. And then placing your hands over your heart and allowing your awareness to settle there to connect to the channel that runs between your heart and your cervix. Feel your body all over in the place where your womb or the energy of your womb dwells in you. Breathe deeply into this and let out a sigh on the exhale to slowly come out of this and bring your awareness back to the room. <sighs> 